The family that prays together stays together. Welcome to today's doctrinal reflection on an invitation of Our Lady of Sorrows to find strength in pain. My name is Seminarian Douglas Wafula from the Catholic Diocese of Bungoma. St. Paul, in his letter to Corinthians, that's 2 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 9 to 11, he talks about pain. He says, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I'm weak is when I'm strong. It is a welcome call to the month of September, dedicated to Our Lady of Sorrows, a devotion that is over 1,000 years old, which gained popularity in the 11th century around the Mediterranean regions. It was spread by the Zavite Order, founded in the year 1233, and Pope Innocent XII instituted its feast day in the year 1692 as the 15th of September. Dear brothers and sisters, giving up is a constituent of our human frailty. That's our weakness. Whenever things seem not to go as we expected, we tend to bury our heads in sand and get discouraged. Have a look at the abandoned businesses, abandoned education, abandoned families, people hoping from one denomination to another in search of faith, people having unsettled heart. Today, let us journey with Our Lady of Sorrows as she teaches us how to find strength in difficult times, for we all experience sorrows in our life. It is so good and so well to find a way to connect to our mother, it makes a big sense because she shared with us in these sorrows. Dear brothers and sisters, it is a very beautiful thing to be the mother of God. We all expect that Mary will have found all the privileges in the world. Look at the prominent people in the world, the way they stay with their families. How do you expect the mother of God to go under difficulties? How do you expect the mother of Christ to suffer? But today, let us look at the seven sorrows that our mother went through. First of all, giving birth, presenting the child to the temple, the prophecy of Simon, that is in Luke chapter 2, verse 34 to 35. Behold, this child is destined for rise and fall of many in Israel, and a sword will pierce through your soul, so that thoughts of many may be revealed. In our lives, we are surrounded by thoughts and feelings of uncertainty, anxiety, insecurity. Our Lady welcomes us, dear brothers and sisters. In your uncertainties, give it to the mother. Let her intercede for you. Secondly, the flight to Egypt, that is in Matthew chapter 2, verse 13 to 16. Rise and take the child and his mother to the land of Egypt, the instructions given to Joseph. Dear brothers and sisters, it is not good for you to move away from your homeland. It is not easy. It is a lot of pain and difficulty. In our lives, we meet unexpected challenges, sometimes forced to run away from our motherlands. Look at the migrants all over the world seeking for peace due to violence in the families or in countries. Our mother is with us. She is the first migrant. Dear brothers and sisters, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Thirdly, the loss of the child, Jesus. This is when Christ went and lost and was found in the temple. When you read the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 43 to 50. But what is most interesting is the answer that Christ gives to our mother, that did you not know that I should be in my, mother, in my father's house? A very painful statement. But we are told the mother kept it in her heart. Dear brothers and sisters, we have lost so many things in our life. We have lost jobs. We have lost precious things. But think about our brothers and sisters who have lost their loved ones. They have lost their kids. We are not told to give up. We are told always to be strong in this. Give it to the mother. She went through the same. She will pray for us. Fourthly, the condemnation of Jesus. When Jesus was facing his passion, Luke chapter 23, from verse 23 forward, Pilate has handed over Christ to be killed by the people. It is painful for any parent to see that their child are going through difficult times, be it unfairly judged, condemned. Today, the world of social media, you wake up in the morning, you find your child is being trolled all over. Dear brothers and sisters, don't give up. Our mother faced the same. Let us give it to her. The fifth is crucifixion. Christ is being nailed on the cross. The society today has crucified us in several ways. Those are several deaths. 
dear brothers and sisters, the accidents and the loss of our loved ones. Let us give it also to the mother because she went through the same. The sixth one is the burial of Christ. A feeling of being defeated, even if in our daily engagements, losing hope and giving up totally. Brothers and sisters, we are invited to always stand strong and keep moving. The seventh and the last one is the burial of Jesus. That is in John chapter 19, verse 41. A feeling of being helpless and afraid. Some of us and most of us will go through that feeling. It is not over, brothers and sisters. Our Lady of Sorrows went through the same. In all this, the years to Mary, to God, in Luke chapter 1, verse 45, gave her a continual strength to witness all these sorrows, having deep faith and hope, for she knew that the prize after all this pain is the greatest. The reason why in Luke chapter 2, verse 19, Mary kept all things in her heart, pondering them through silent prayer, a call to silent prayer, dear brothers and sisters. We see it happening even in John chapter 2, verse 1 to 12. She's the one who knew that there is deficiency of wine. She was not told, our mother knows our problems. Let us just invoke her because she knows our situations. And as a family, let us ask our mother to intercede for us during this month of our Lady of Sorrows. Because we always pray and we say, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour for our death. Truly, the family that prays together stays together. And the world at prayer is the world at peace. Thank you.